you're seeing today's special unit, I'm inclined to say that something in your match has gone very, very wrong. Best clean your room and finish your homework. It's the Mothership. The Mothership is the ultimate Protoss vessel. It is warped in from the Nexus. Yeah, you heard me. However, it requires two things. One, a fleet beacon present on the map. And the second, no active mothership. Only one may be deployed per player at a time. Production cost of 400, 400. Eight supply cost, 350 shields, 350 life, two base armor, and the following tags. Armored, massive, psionic, mechanical, and heroic. Their attack comes in the form of six purifier beams, each dealing six damage, for a total of 36 per attack to any enemies within range 7 every 1.58 seconds. The Mothership has three abilities. The first, a passive, Cloaking Field. The Mothership applies a cloak to all friendly units and buildings within range 5. The Mothership itself will not be cloaked, but the enemy will require detection to see any other targets so long as the Mothership lives. The second ability is an active one, Mass Recall. This costs 100 energy and is a ground targeted ability. Once selected, the Mothership will teleport all of the Mothership player's units in the targeted area to the Mothership's location. To rephrase, click the area, friendly units are teleported to your Mothership with a very slight delay. The final ability is also an active one, Time Warp. Also costing 100 energy and ground targeted, this ability initiates the creation of a bubble, or a field. After 1.79 seconds, the bubble will appear, and any enemy units or structures within the field have their attack and movement speeds reduced by 50%. The field will persist for 7 seconds. Yes, this does affect air units, even though the field itself is rather, um, grounded. Usage of the mothership is quite niche. It isn't really that great on its own. The true strength lies in its supportive abilities. The cloaking can be quite strong, but obviously will depend on your opponent's detection capabilities. Worst case, your opponent spends enough time trying to target down the mothership that the rest of your army wins the battle. Mass recall is generally most effective when the mothership is far away from whatever you are recalling. It can be used defensively to get your units out of harm's way, or even used offensively to put your army somewhere that it probably doesn't belong. Time Warp can be massively helpful in a fight, if the opponent just sits in it. The time that it takes for the field to load is, in my opinion, too long to stop any quick mobile units such as Stim Marines, but has much more usage versus slow and static forces such as Siege Tanks, Thors, or Lurkers.
Whether you want to keep it with your army or try to get that game-winning recall, just remember that the mothership itself is quite an investment. Try not to just fly it into those 12 missile turrets. Ultimate Protoss Warship. Yeah, sure. This thing is nothing more than an overgrown task manager, always telling my units where to go with its recall ability. Who do they think they are? Honestly speaking, it's rare to see these come into play. Generally, the mothership is rarely the issue. The problem tends to be whatever army units are accompanying it, or what the opponent may be trying to do with it, such as the offensive recall. Regarding counterplay tactics, you will want to go with one of two strategies. You can isolate and snipe it off, or you can overwhelm it. With its single target attack, it can be overwhelmed rather easily, but it is still dangerously helpful to any friendly units nearby. Terran players, you have some fantastic anti-air tools, if they live for more than the duration of a Psy Storm. Marines are already a solid counter to Sky Toss, and the mothership is no different. The downside is that Marines have to get relatively close to do their attack, stim and pray for clear weather. Vikings can be a hard counter thanks to their superior range and the ability to kite air units, but they tend to struggle versus just about anything else. If for some strange reason you find yourself playing mech versus Protoss, the Thor's 250mm Punisher cannons are second to none for sniping air units. That bonus damage versus massive and long range really pays off. Finally, I want to briefly highlight the Battlecruiser. Not really for its standard attack, more for its special abilities. You can use the teleport to get the jump on an unsuspecting mothership and target it down with three Yamato cannons. Once the Yamato cast starts, the range is irrelevant. It's as good as gone. Protoss, if you're seeing a mothership, I'm more likely to blame you than the opponent. Nonetheless, the standard Blink Stalker Archon combo should easily wipe it off the face of the map. Stalkers can blink around to try and prevent its escape, and the Archons can both angrily chase the flying vessel and offer some protection versus any other threats that may be present. I also want to bring up the Disruptor. No, do not give me that look. It's not to fight the mothership. If your opponent is using the ship for army cloaking, I'm willing to bet that they are not going to micro and split for Disruptor shots quickly. Best case scenario, your Purification Nova deletes everything underneath the mothership. Cloak be damned. Worst case, you forced your opponent's army to split, which should either reveal the units or isolate the mothership for priority targeting. Zerg lovers, the choice for anti-air is slightly flexible, as all three options, referring to Hydralisks, Queens, and Corruptors can certainly deal with the mothership itself. As I said before, the problem is usually whatever is accompanying the floating chandelier. No matter what choice you make, I cannot understate the importance of the Viper. 
The mothership is immune to the infester's neural parasite, but not to the viper's abduct. A simple yoink or two, and that's an easy minus 400-400 for your foolish opponent. Don't let the fancy lights and devastating laser beam fool you. This one is only scary if you did not complete your anti-air chores. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.